Hello, this is Lise Nielsen, Artist in the Woods. I'm out here for the second time for my second painting uh, at Asilomar State Park. And uh, today I am working on a small uh, pochade out of a um, cigar box, an old cigar box. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and do a very small painting today. This is a six by eight. Um, I'm just starting to tone my canvas uh, and be working, looking out at the waves today. And I hope you enjoy this plein air experience. Just toning my canvas first. And that is because working on white canvas outside uh, can be a little harsh on the eyes. I'm actually in the paint mobile today, but also the little white specks that are left after the painting is done, if you're on a white canvas, can be um, a lot of work to take care of. Getting finished with the toning. And then I'll go to draw my shapes that I'm using. the scene a little bit so that it fits into my composition well. Just using the elements that I'm seeing in the scene that I like, that work for me. If you're painting smaller, it's actually a more simple scene, so keep that in mind. Uh, fewer elements will be used in the painting. I'm just going to start mixing some greens for the foreground grass. come in and put in more uh, details later. Warm some of that up.
hope you can hear the ocean today. I was able to open the window because I'm not actually on the path today. Now I want to go in with the, of the rocks and they'll be cool and a little lighter because they're in the distance. Um, so they'll have more blues and purples in them. A little lighter than that. There's a sandy hill back here and it is in light. Um, this can be a little confusing for the eye. Uh, so I'll probably come back in later and do some highlights on that. And I want to get the ocean back behind it. You can see I'm borrowing some of the mixture that was already down to get it. Not too dark. It's very light back there. Hmm, something I'm not liking here, so change this. Thank you. 
little bit of an idea there. Now you see some really nice, um, sort of a greenish tone in the water out there where there's some breaking waves and Here. And I want to deal with the dark of the wave before I go in with the uh, lighter part of the wave that's closer up. feel to it in a simple sort of a way. more warmth in the sand up closer.
I'm going to work on the waves just a little bit more and then I'll probably call it quits for today. I'm going to warm up the white a little bit because I just used pure white before and I generally don't do that for the water ocean. It's warm because it's reflecting the sun. So, do a little bit of that. And then maybe some ocean water around that. And I put this nice pretty green on with some cerulean blue. Didn't have viridian on my palette today, which is odd. I was using kind of a larger brush, so I'm going to go in with a little smaller brush now. And you'll see some of these splashes going on at the top of the wave sometimes. It'll splash up. And then down in here, you'll see white the white foam because it's close to the to the shore up in here. Also along the rocks there you'll see it moving the water moving along the rocks as well. definitely want it to look like moving water. This was actually a fairly big splash up there. Just keep practicing with those. Those are tricky. But just keep watching it and practicing. The key is studying it. And looking at the, the color colors you're seeing. You can keep a little notebook of what you're what you're observing. Okay. This is rolling over.
is Lise Nielsen, and I hope you join me in my next video. This has been great. It's a really wonderful place. It's been home for me for a long time and uh, before we moved to the mountains. And so I hope you, you can come and enjoy the scenery here. Happy painting!